Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are we? Good. 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 You guys coming out sailing with us today? Three hands all together. Morning guys and happy Wednesday. Last week when you left us, we were just leaving Kalbarri to head to Denham. We're staying in Denham for a couple of days to check out the Monkey Mai Marine Reserve and some awesome sights around Shark Bay. This morning, however, we got up super early and we are heading out to Monkey Maya to see the dolphins. We're checking out what's called the Monkey Maya Dolphin Experience, where you see the dolphins come in for a feed. It always seems to be driving in the wrong direction at the wrong time of the day. Yeah. The Marine Reserve is located about 25k along the border of the Francis Perron National Park between Denham and Monkey Maya. We decided to stay in Denham because it was going to be a lot cheaper than staying at the Monkey Maya RACV Caravan Park, which is crazy expensive. The Monkey Maya Dolphin Experience advertises itself as one of the world's greatest wildlife encounters and apparently attracts more than 100,000 visitors a year to the Monkey Maya Marine Reserve. People are asked to meet at 7.45 for the first feeding and when they said people, I did not mean they meant the entire district of Shark Bay and all the tourists. I was pretty blown away with the amount of people were there and I actually struggled a little bit with the concept of having so many people crowd around so few little dolphins. As much as the experience in the morning with the feeding and the volunteers was good, it's not actually something I would recommend and I actually did not deal with it as well as I thought I might have. Hey guys, I'm just really quickly coming to you from the future. I'm just editing up this video to be released tomorrow, which I'm excited about. I just wanted to quickly address the reason why I didn't like the Monkey Meyer experience. And that is for two reasons. One, there was just far too many people there. And I understand everyone's traveling and everyone wants to experience these dolphins at Monkey Meyer, which everyone's heard so much about. But for the very few dolphins that we were there to see, there was a crush of people. And I mean a crush. Like, when they opened those gates down to the beach, people were running. And in some footage I'll show you now, you can actually hear me crying. That is too many people. I think I became incredibly overwhelmed to realise what we have become. We've driven our wildlife and our animals to the absolute edges of their habitats. And even, in some cases, give them no habitats. And now... We have this beautiful dolphin experience, but so many people wanting to experience it that people were crushing to get there. And that just makes me feel sick. It makes me feel so sick. And two, the people who were down by the water were edging closer and closer and closer and closer. And you can see these dolphins cruising back and forward and they know the deal. They've been doing this for a very long time. But it just worries me that people in that experience just weren't respecting the dolphins and the volunteers and the the keepers i guess you would call them were doing a great job keeping the crowd in control and educating the crowd about the dolphins and how important they are but it was just not getting through and there was just so little respect shown by the visitors to the experience and it just made my heart sink it was very devastating to see i will back up however though don't go to the 745 dolphin experience if you are going to monkey maya Go down to Monkey Maya, spend the day on the beach, hire some paddle boards, go for a swim, and I guarantee you, you will see dolphins. We sat down on the beach for midday and had some lunch and did some sun tanning, and we saw five beautiful dolphins casually swim past. And it was unbelievable. So don't muck around with 745, get down there and enjoy yourself. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. We get to go sailing now, which I loved. It was so good. And the day did turn out better in the end. So after the dolphin presentation ended, I managed to find a really nice little jetty to sit on where I could just sit and admire the dolphins, which is what I really came here to do. So I had a ball with my long lens on my camera getting some beautiful shots of these amazing creatures. Next to us though, there were a bunch of guys preparing one of the cruise catamarans for a day out on the water. 
We got talking to them and a day out on the water on this beautiful 60 foot catamaran really piqued our interest. Morning everybody. Morning. How are we? Good. Good. You've got a sweet job. Oh, Sucks. Yeah, I bet. Sorry for that. No, it's alright. I would love to do something like that. Yeah, it's wicked. You guys coming out sailing with us today? These guys were super cool and for 99 bucks we were going to go out on their boat for the day and see some dugongs and dolphins and all kinds of marine life and then come back in the afternoon for a two hour sunset sail to have some beers on the boat. We were super stoked and headed back to the car, grabbed some cameras, had a quick brekkie at the Monkey Mire Resort and then jumped on board. Alrighty, a bit of safety guys, in the unlikely event of an emergency we might need one of these. Never needed one before, so I don't think we're going to need one today, guys. But if we do, get in quick, this is our only one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, when we get off the jetty, we are going to be putting our sails up. Uh, in order for that to happen, I need to borrow three gentlemen volunteers to help me with that, this big sail up the back here. Three. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. The boat is a 60 foot catamaran known as the Shot Over. Originally it was an X racing boat, I believe from Sydney. Four hour morning cruise and a two hour evening cruise cost us $99 with the hopes of seeing dugongs, turtles, manta rays and dolphins. And we were lucky enough to tick off all of those. It was an absolutely incredible morning out on the water. I could not recommend these guys enough, they are unreal. Just there, yeah. about 50 metres. There he is. Oh, oh wow. wow. What is it? Dugong. Dugong. Oh, there he is. Wants to hang out. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, I've never seen a dugong before. I've seen a lot of animals, but not a dugong. <laughs> Thank you. 
So our morning adventure finished at 1 p.m. So we headed into the resort and grabbed ourselves a pizza and a palmer for lunch before heading down to the beach to do some tanning. We also saw four beautiful dolphins and one huge pelican down there. After that, we went into town, grabbed some beers and headed back to the boat for our sunset cruise. Well, feelings up here? Today ended better than it started. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so today started with a lot of tears and a lot of emotions, and now I'm just a bit tipsy, so that's a good sign. <laughs> So we got a couple of beers to uh, finish off the night. Um, we gave some to the crew, uh, but I think they very much deserve it. <laughs> it was true, this day really did not start the way I wanted it to, but by the end of the day, I started to really appreciate Monkey Maya. I got to see some incredible dolphins, as well as dugongs and turtles out on a stunning catamaran. So in the end, it was well worth the trip out. So that's what we've got for you this week, guys. Join us next Wednesday as we take you to the Ocean Park Aquarium, which is a stunning aquarium full of all of the creatures you'll find in Shark Bay. We get up close and personal with some amazing sharks, as well as run a few errands around camp before heading out to Carnarvon. If you haven't already, give this video a like and a subscribe and all that fun stuff, and we will see you next Wednesday. And tranquil this shit. There's three dolphins swimming off into the sunset. Yeah. If we we'll probably need to zoom in this image, but there's about four of them. Look, out you there. can see them splashing. There's one there. I think the one you're pointing out, that's a cone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>